Today on our 2016 Nissan Quest, we'll be installing the Kurt Class 2 Trailer Hitch Inch and a Quarter Receiver, part number C12061. This fully welded Class 2 hitch has an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening. It's perfect for light duty towing or carrying accessories, such as cargo carriers or bike racks. A nice thing about this receiver is a hitch pin and clip is included. Our safety chain loops are a welded on plate and they're going to work with most safety chains. It features a 3500 maximum gross trailer weight rating and a 350 pound max tongue weight rating and that's going to be the weight pushed down. If you're using this hitch with a non-trailer load, it's recommended that you use the curb stabilization strap and that's part number 18050. Now we'll give you some measurements that may help you when selecting accessories for your hitch, such as ball mounts, bike racks, or cargo carriers. From the center of the hitchman hole to the outermost edge of the bumper measures about two and a half inches. From the inside edge of the top of the receiver tube down to the ground measures about 12 inches. To begin our installation, we need to go into our rear hatch under the storage compartment and remove the four rubber plugs. And lift up our two panels here. On our passenger side first, we can locate the two plugs by pulling back the corner on the carpet. Now, if you can't seem to get these out, flathead screwdriver works just as good. There we go, and we can repeat the same process on the driver's side. After the driver's side plugs are removed, we also need to take out the two bolts here. Now, I'm just using an 18 millimeter socket. Now we can go underneath the vehicle. Now we can remove the other two bolts here that's holding our tow hook in place. And once it's removed, we will not be reinstalling this. Now we can grab an extra set of hands and raise our hitch up in position. For our passenger side, we're gonna go up above our exhaust first and raise it up. Now we're just lining it up with the existing weld nuts on our frame. So what we want to do is we want to take the bolt, put the conical tooth washer, make sure it's facing towards the hitch. Once we get that started, get a couple threads turned, we can go ahead and rest it down. Then we'll do the same thing on the driver's side. And then we can put in the remaining bolts. Now we can go ahead and snug up these bolts here. This is going to make it easier to install the bolts inside the rear hatch area. We're just using a 19 millimeter socket for our new hardware. It may help just to push that exhaust out of the way. Now back inside of our vehicle here, you can see how our hitch came up and lined up with the holes here. We'll take our new hardware with that conical tooth washer and get that started. And we're gonna be doing this on both sides. Then we can just snug it down. With everything snugged up, let's go ahead and torque it down to manufacturer specifications. And these are found in the instructions. With everything torqued down inside of our cargo area here, we can go ahead and replace our plugs, fix up our carpet. It may help just to kind of pull out slightly and push that carpet under, up underneath. Now let's go underneath and torque down those bolts. With everything torqued down underneath, we're all set. And that's gonna complete our installation on the Kurt Class 2 inch and a quarter trailer hitch receiver. Part number C12061. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.